Okay, so in this tutorial, I am interested in showing you this guy right here. This is the cut tool or the mask tool. Um, and a little disclaimer about this video. I'm interested in taking this picture. They're watching something on TV, and I'd rather them watch a Peanuts Christmas movie. So when you're working on this tool, it does end up taking a little bit of refining, a little bit of tweaking. It does take time. And I like to keep my videos. I like to show you the tools but I also like to keep it very short and brief just to give you the idea. So I might not go into all the refining. Um, this might not look great, but I wanna give you the idea how to do this. Um, so I do want to, we already imported another image that I have and I want to add this image. So copy image address. So this is a little bit new. If I wanna add a secondary picture, I'm gonna to go to layer add URL as layer and I'm going to paste that picture in from my Peanuts Christmas movie and so I can add as many of these images in as I want to. So now I'm resizing my image using this arrange tool and I want it to be about the same size as that TV screen and the other thing I want to do is try to get as many of these peanuts characters in there as possible. So I'm going to keep resizing it a little bit. The other thing I want to do is rename this layer. Big fan of naming layers. I already previously named this one. And I want to drop its opacity down so I can kind of see the TV behind it, but I can kind of see the, the peanuts characters as well. Then because I'm working on this image, the peanuts image, I kind of want to zoom in on that area. So the main tool we're using is this cut tool. And I can tell you that in this tutorial, we're just going to use this brush. So to control the size of the brush, I want to click in here. I can choose to make the brush bigger and smaller. I can also change its softness and its hardness, which if you look at its sample, you can see that when it's soft, it's a little bit blurry and it's almost like I'm not pressing so hard on the brush or it can be very hard and soft. So I'm going to drop that down a little bit. So it all depends on these two buttons. These are the most important buttons. So if I'm on the peanuts layer, which this is the picture I need to edit, I don't need to edit the background, I just need to edit the peanuts picture, I want to be on this and I want to hit remove. And with my brush, what do I want to remove? My brush is pretty hard right now because I'm just getting rid of a big chunk of this picture. In fact, I'm going to go here where, where his head is. I want him to keep his head. It would look weird if he had half of a head. And what it's doing is it's removing the peanuts picture so I can see what's behind it. Get rid of some more of this. I can hit hints removed and hits on so I can kind of see where the picture is a little bit better. The other thing I can do is every now and then I can change its opacity back to 100%. And it's cool too, like if you make a mistake, um, so suppose I got rid of part of his head and I, I got rid of too much, I can come back to this mode, add to mask, add to the picture, and I can bring back some of that picture. So there's the remove, I wanna remove this part of his, where his head is at. So again, I'm removing part of the peanuts picture but it shows what's underneath and that's the idea. I'm cutting away part of this picture so that I can see what's underneath. Now I'm going a little bit too far a little bit here just to kind of show you and I'm going to change the opacity and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So now you can see I have a little part of his head there that I need to fix. I need to fix this at the top um, and uh, the sides just look a little bit iffy. This is where I'm saying that refining is important. So I would want this to look as best as possible. So again, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to start refining. And I don't know if I'm ever going to get this in just a couple minutes to look 
exactly the way it should. So I want to add, I need this part of his head. Oops. And that should look a little bit better. So this is where the refining starts to come in. And I would want to zoom in on this picture, especially when I'm going to work on these edges. I would want to make my brush a little bit smaller now and get that corner. This side looks all right. I think I'm going to get rid of some of this edge yet. It's this side that looked a little bit wishy-washy. And I'm going to add to the mask to get rid of the red. And I'm going to zoom back out to see how this looks. Let me look off of the cut button. It's looking a little bit better, but like I said, I would go back in and refine this. It's still a little bit wishy-washy here at the top, at the corner of this TV where it should be a little bit more rounded. But if I zoom out, it's a small picture. It does kind of look like they're watching the Peanuts game, the, the Christmas movie. And that's what I was wanting. So I'm going to refine a little bit um, to try to get that to look just right. But that is this cut tool.